is this weekend's game the biggest game remaining on their schedule, or is it is it another game that you're pointing to? And will this next three game stretch, Choppy, determine the fate of your seven and two Dallas Cowboys as they get ready to take on the Chiefs on Sunday? Then they return home to take on the Las Vegas Raiders on Thanksgiving Day before going to New Orleans the following Thursday to take on the Saints on Thursday Night Football. In terms of the biggest game, no. Because it's an AFC opponent and it really doesn't do a whole lot for seeding, obviously, other than the win-loss. You can afford to lose an AFC game, just like the Denver game didn't kill them. It would have been worse to lose to Atlanta. Uh, but like this is the game that's the litmus test. This is the Chiefs, man. Right? This is the game that you're going to measure yourself against. Mm-hmm. All right? For the rest of the year. So it's a big game from that perspective. But no, the Arizona game is going to be the biggest one because that is probably going to have home field advantage in the playoffs or seeding, high seeding uh, at stake. You know, even if the Cowboys are a game back of Arizona – if they could beat them head to head and have the same you know conference record then they'll be you know get a, you know they'll obviously get ahead of the cardinals in the playoff seeding so yeah no the arizona game i think is the biggest you so i would say looking at the schedule that january 2nd game at home against the arizona cardinals is probably the biggest one left and a lot of folks forget there's a little bit of a revenge factor in that game too because remember you know, when the Arizona Cardinals came to AT&T and put the beat down on the, the Cowboys, was it 38-10 to 10 mm-hmm. that day? Uh, so there's going to be a lot of motivation in that game anyway. But going back to this weekend's game against the Chiefs, you mentioned it. It's a measuring stick game. This is one of those games that you circle on the calendar, regardless of where you are in your season. You say, we want to figure out how good we are versus a team that's won a Super Bowl, been you know in multiple AFC title games, went to the Super Bowl last year and had a disappointing loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and more importantly, a Chiefs team that seems to getting be getting right offensively. You saw what they did to the Las Vegas Raiders, especially in the second half, and figuring out if Patrick Mahomes and this Chiefs team can get back to what they felt like they should have been at the beginning of the season when we felt that they were going to be a true Super Bowl contender Things have gone a little sideways from them, partly because of how poorly their defense has played so far this year. But when you circle the calendar and you circle games on the calendar, this is one of those games where you say, how do we stack up against other teams in the rest of the league? But as far as the biggest game is concerned, I would say that January 2nd game against Arizona at home, given what they did to you, you know, AT&T Stadium should be the biggest one remaining on the schedule at this point. Yeah, like this one this week, definitely. I think what says a lot about the Chiefs and how they fall in this year to the point where we don't look at this game as the biggest game, you know, of the season. Well, I'm going to remember this Chiefs game, I think, far more than I will the Arizona game. It's the Chiefs. It's Patrick Mahomes. Uh, It's the team that it should have been in three straight Super Bowls, the one that was in two of them. Uh, so like it, it is to me the Chiefs as the the more it's not the more important game, but it is the game that I'm going to remember more. But clearly, the more important game has to be a conference game when when seeding for the playoffs on the line. When you look at the standings for the NFC as it currently stands right now, you have the Cowboys sitting right now. If the playoffs were to start today, as the three seed in the NFC behind the Packers, Cardinals, and behind the Packers and the Cardinals in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who had the surprising loss on the road this past weekend to the Washington football team, the Rams at five, the New Orleans Saints at six, and if the playoffs were to start today, guess who would be in the playoffs in the seventh seed? In the NFC? Mm-hmm. Uh, do they have sharp teeth and claws? They do. Carolina. The Carolina Panthers would be the seventh seed right now after their win over the Arizona Cardinals on Sunday on the road where Cam Newton had two touchdowns in that particular game. So that gets me to this then. Obviously, we, we've circled this stretch of games on the calendar even before the season started and said, hey, this could be a potential tough stretch of games for this team given the aspirations that the Cowboys had coming into this year to determine what their rest of their season could look like. Do you feel like this three-game stretch is this most important stretch of the season for the Cowboys given where they are at 7-2, and two, the caliber of opponent they're going to be playing, at least in the next couple of weeks. You never know what happens in the New Orleans Saints game because that's a rivalry game there. Um, but is this team <laughs> most important stretch of games here? Oh, I think it has to be. Yeah. You know, I think how you how your record in these next – these are three tough games in a row. Not not brutally tough. But after these three, you've got a couple of games with the football team. you got a game with the Giants. you got a game with Philadelphia. 
you know, those are all those are all easy W's. I know, I know. But I'm marking them off as easy W's. Uh, I mean, but, anybody can get any given Sunday chop no, in the NFL no, now. No, no. You got to be great at something to get somebody any given Sunday. I mean, the, what are the Jacksonville Jaguars good at? Uh, um, right. Correct. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and they beat the Buffalo Listen, Bills. Don't try to bring logic into conversation. <laughs> like, I'm me, just okay? saying, chop. Like, Allow me just to say what I say. <laughs> I got to keep you accountable, <laughs> no. you know. It's about accountability and chemistry. Listen, job, anybody okay? who knows me in my life, there's no accountability there. <laughs> That's uh, why I'm here. That's why I'm here today. Look, if the Cowboys go 2 and 1, this is a legit. Like if they lose 2 or 3 of these if they lose 2 of these next 3, you know, I'm gonna be like, man, maybe this isn't a title contender. Cuz let's like, Oh, uh, you would feel that way if they lost 2 out of these next 3 that the championship contender status could be in question for them? I mean, I think I think I would knock them down a peg. Like I think they're tier one championship contender right now, mm -hmm. and if they, they if they lose two or three, I might bump them to like the well, you know, if things fall right. Now it's like I don't think things even need to fall right. Like if they just go out there, they could just go out there and beat everybody. But you know, let's let's be fair. You know, they have. I mean, they blew out Carolina. They they they, they haven't played the most difficult schedule. It hasn't been a schedule. Like Kansas City has had, it hasn't been a schedule that somebody's. It's more of a Buffalo schedule. The Titans have played a tough, a brutal schedule. They just beat five teams in a row. They made the playoffs last year, which is ironic. You say that because the Titans have the easiest schedule remaining in the NFL. Yeah, for the rest of the season. Right, and ours is going to get tough now. Yeah, you know, ours is getting tough. So it, it'll be interesting to see how we fare here. But yeah, I think if they lose two of three, that would that, that would that would make me concerned about how they are going to fare against the great teams come playoff time. But if they win two of three. Uh, you know, even especially if one of those losses to the AFC, then they they are, um, a real good chance of being a top two seed in the conference, uh, with a favorable first round matchup, and more importantly, it's you know it's never been more important to be a top three seed than this year, because the four seed this year is going to play the Rams or Cardinals, mm -hmm. and I don't want to play them in the first yeah, round. Whoever doesn't win the NFC West is probably going to be the fifth seed. Right. I don't want to play either one of those teams in the first round. I'd much rather play the Saints or the Panthers. If you had to choose, who would you rather play? Would you rather play the Rams or the Cardinals in the first round if you were the four seed and had to play one of those two teams? I'd rather play the Rams. Oh, you'd rather play the Rams? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I would probably rather take the Cardinals, to be honest with you. Well, look, I know Sean Payton and uh, Matt Stafford are going to have a, a fight at some point, and Sean's going to put all the blame on Stafford because uh, he's <laughs> an egomaniac, uh, and, and it's going to be an implosion. That's what I know. So this three stretch of games, Kansas City, Las Vegas, New Orleans, the, the statement game is the Chiefs game. If you're able to go on the road, beat Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs as they're getting right on offense, defensively, they've been a little bit better since acquiring Melvin Ingram. They're still not great. You know, they moved Chris Jones back into the interior where he is at be at his best. You know, the human mark that is Daniel Sorensen, they've kind of removed him out of the equation. So Steve Spagnuolo on this defense is getting a little bit better. To me, this would be the biggest win of the season. We say, Kevin, that win against the Patriots is looking better and better week over week because of the Patriots now winning four games in, the row, in a row the way that they've been playing so far.